thank you, Philip, for the very kind introduction. And today, the, uh, I want to speak the, about uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, VNA Dundee and also the, what the I'm thinking recently after March 11. Uh, the, the after March 11, uh, my last lecture here is the, the just two months after March 11. This is, it's, it's still is too early for thinking about the disaster. But the, now after that, the, the I'm thinking about what is the new direction and what is the triggers of the change of design. And I, I want to start from the, this image. This is a big disaster, a big earthquake it happened in Europe. It's 1755. It happened in Lisbon, in Portugal. And at that time, the, the more than 50,000 people died by the, that earthquake. And the, and the, it's a, it's a big, big as a numbers of people because the last March 11th disasters only 30,000 people died. It's more than 50, 60,000 people died. And after that, the new direction, new design started. And the new directions is, uh, is is going to the, the modernism design in 20th century. But the starting point of modernism design was the disasters. And the, the goal after that disaster is how to create strongness. As a, and then the people started to as a, as a use concrete and the steel. As a, that kind of new design is all as happened after that. And uh, in 19th century, 19th century, the, the Great Fire of Chicago happened, 1871. And uh, at that time, Chicago was a city of brick and wood. And, uh, and then the, such kind of big fire happened. And people thought the brick and, brick and wood was not good material for the building. And then they started to use concrete and steel. And, uh, and finally, the American skyscrapers the, was created in 20th century. And in Japan, the 1923, the, the Kanto earthquake happened. And the, it, is, it was also the big disasters. So if you are in no Ginza, this is Ginza Street, and this is the, most of the center of Tokyo were, were burned down like that, and and it was a the the big big uh, the, uh, trigger for us, and after that, the the Japanese government the decided to prohibit the small wooden building in the center of Tokyo. And, uh, and then the, we should build concrete building, as a steel building. And it is, as a, as a, probably it was good for architecture, good for the disasters at that time, but the, the great tradition of Japanese architectures was disappeared by this earthquake. And there's a, and before that, the Tokyo was a very, very natural city with the natural material, the human scale, the, the small wooden buildings, but all disappeared after that. And finally, the, the two years ago, we had this big earthquake and tsunami. And uh, I took this the, the picture by myself. And, uh, and uh, this is my picture. This is, uh, it was really uh, unbelievable. And uh, as a, the big lesson from that is what is the strongness in architecture? And uh, even as if the, con the building was made by concrete, the, it was weak as comparing with the, 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 the nature. The, 
if the we the design the building carefully uh, with the respect to nature, so we can make strong building. And the, I designed this as a canal museum in Ishinomaki, the same city of that disaster. And the way I heard the, the news as a, of as a disaster, as, a, as I was in Taiwan on that day, the, I, was, I was so shocked to see the news of, in, of Japan in Taiwan. And uh, because this museum was very close to the ocean and Ishinomaki, and just, the, the fi just five kilometers from the ocean of Ishinomaki. And uh, the most of people believe that, that building will, dis will uh, only uh, disappear. But as of fortunately, the, this building uh, was, was saved because I, as before, I designed this building. As uh, I studied the tsunami, and uh, this location, as a, as a, one side of the rivers was very weak because if the tsunami came to the river, and one side of the, the rivers was, was okay, and then. As a, and then I could design this building, and and finally, so we are really lucky. And as a, as a, as a basic concept of this building is to make the harmony with nature. And if we can make the good harmony with nature, the building can be strong. This is a lesson from this building. This is Kitakami River. And uh, as, a, as the Pacific Ocean is five kilometers from here, and the tsunami attacked this side of the rivers, but this side of the river is okay. And this is Kitakami River, this is Kitakami Town. And this is the entrance of the building. And this is both of all the museum. And uh, I, as a, as a, as a, this is the pictures I took after tsunami. And uh, so amazingly, it looked like flat because the land of the city has uh, dropped one meter. And amazingly, so all the land of the city dropped one meter. And that means a, a level of the river raise one meter, and it looked like flat. But it's a sunny day, but it looked like flat. So, so I, can, I couldn't believe it. This is a view from the river to the, to the museum. And the uh, next project is, is the Hiroshige Museum. And uh, so for me, the artist Hiroshige is very important because he wanted to create harmony with nature and artifact. So this is the river, the river, and the lane, and the bridge, and the forest. And the, those as a, as a, as a element are combined closely and as to create harmony. And it, this is his method. He always want to <coughs> melt artifact and nature, and as, uh, he loves rain very much, and so he want to as, uh, combine rain and the forest and the building, and uh, to make this kind of the peaceful harmony. And the Vincent Van Gogh, the respected. Hiroshige very much. He made the copy of Hiroshige. And uh, he, uh, Vincent van Gogh, also wanted to create harmony. And the Impressionism learned the method of harmony from Japanese ukiyo-e painting. And uh, this is one evidence of the influence from Hiroshige. <coughs> and uh, and uh, this architect, Frank Lloyd Wright, 
he also learned many things from Hiroshige. As an art critic as a, pointed out uh, that this is a, as a drawing was very much influenced by Hiroshige's method. The harmony with the vegetation, and the building, and the horizontality, and this kind of over the position, all came from Hiroshige. And actually, as, a, as a Frank Lloyd Wright wrote as a, about Hiroshige and the Okakura Tenshin, and without two Japanese, so I couldn't create anything he wrote in his autobiograph. This is not a compliment to Japanese because that his autograph is, for, is, is English. And then as a, in his book, I learned the transparency from Hiroshige and Tenshin Okakura. This is a, as a, uh, as a, as a, this is the, as a secret of his as a, um, architectural method the transparency, harmony with nature, as, as, as he learned from Hiroshige. And as a, as a fortunately, I could design Hiroshige Museum in Japan. And uh, for this museum, the, I try to use local material as possible as can. Because is, if the, we use concrete, the concrete building, is separate from the local economy. But if we use the natural local material, so we can activate the local economy, and so we can activate the local culture as well. And that's the reason of using local material for this building. So this wood came from the forest behind this building. And, and also the, 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 the site planning of this building is to match the harmony of the place. This is a hole that I as a, as created in this building. And this is a building. And this is a city as a, as a town center. The town center is here. And uh, this is a mountain. As a, as a goal of this layout is to combine town centers and the nature. We did the same thing for V and A. And the building is not isolated objects. Building is a gate which connect city center as a, as a nature. And before 19th century, for Japanese, uh, the, this kind of mountain is very important. And we call it Satoyama. The means of Satoyama is a village mountain. And the people's life is the totally as a, uh, relied on this mountain. The material of the, the building came from this mountain, and the energy came from this mountain, and the, the fertilizer, uh, fertilizer came from this mountain, and the, everything came from this mountain. But in 20th century, people's the, the life relied on Tokyo. As everything came from Tokyo, the material, energy, and everything. And they forget the mountain. And then the mountain was abandoned, and, and, and then the environment of this village was totally destroyed because of Tokyo. And, and the message from this layout is please remember the please go back to the mountain again. And then the, I created the gate like that. And then the village and the mountain behind us are again connected. As a as material, as a, most of the material of the, this building came from the mountain behind. The, the rice papers, they came from the village, and the stone also came from the village, and of course the wood came from the village. And the super juxtaposition is a method Frank Lloyd Light ran from Hiroshige.
And uh, this is another example of using the local material. This is a, the, the very special the, the adobe that came from the, the, the tradition of this village. Before 19th century, the, this village were the, making this kind of building made by the, the soil of the place. But the, in 20th century, people forget that method. That they are using concrete and steel as those material. And, and uh, I, this is, it was my first visit to the village. And uh, this is a wall was also made by the, the, the soil, earth. And, uh, and I asked the craftsmen the, to do the same method again. And material is, came from the, the, the site. And then it is very sustainable. There's a no there's a energy for transportation is necessary. And, uh, and the, this is the mat uh, this is a, uh, material. And the material came from here. And this is uh, the contents of the museum. It is uh, the wood. And the good thing for the adobe is adobe can control humidity and temperature. And uh, the, because as, uh, as adobe can observe the humidity if it is too wet. And uh, this is natural, national treasure of Japan, but we didn't use mechanical air conditioning system for this project because the building itself can control the climate of the, the building. And the next project is, uh, is uh, I should talk about this building, the Imperial Hotel designed by Frank Wright. I love this building very much because the, the, as a Frank Lloyd Wright came to Japan and he is a, decided to use local material as possible. This is the local stones of Japan. This is a stone, a volcanic stones, very soft stones. And he wrote, the softness of these local stones can match the Japanese climate. And, but the, at that time, the Japanese the construction company uh, the, didn't want to use this, that stone so because they said that this is the maintenance of this stone is not good, not good because it's it too fragile, too soft. But, the, but finally, the flank of light used that stone for the Imperial Hotel. And that after that, this stone became very, very popular stone in Japan. And also, he he designed that kind of scratch tile, the, and as also he wrote, the softness of the scratch, scratch tile can match the Japanese climate. And the story of this, the, our design of this Chokra Plaza is that the, 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 is, the came from the stone, same stone of Frank Lloyd Light, the same volcanic stones. And this is the old building. And we did a small change for this wall that took in, as a, uh, to introduce natural light to the interior. And this is a detail of the stones. The, as I want to create the from the opaqueness to the transparency. And this is a, as a how to make the, as these structures. We combine steel plate and the masonry structure. And so we are we tested. <laughs> And this is the interior. And this is a new building. So, so we, we use this, made by the same stones like, as flung light. And uh, this, this project is completed after the le last lecture here. This is completed last year. And uh, this is just in front of this famous Kaminari Mon Gate in Asakusa. And if you, you, you have, you have chance to come to Tokyo, this is a, is a must visit place. It's a, the same gate, as a, the, the doors shops, it was, it was exactly the same as, as Edo Ela. 
this was the shops and the gate, and my building is here. The basic idea for my building is the, to have the same detail as Edoela. It is an eight-story building, but each floor has the same the silhouette of Edo's building. Because the, this kind of shape the, can create the harmony with the environment. And this is the sections. And the, it is eight houses uh, stacking. <laughs> and uh, the, so we use this space for the, the machines. And here, we, as a, as a uh, broad, as a, the small theaters. And the, the people can sit on the, on the roof. And then the, this is, a, here is a gate. And people can see the gate from the theaters. This is the theater, and this is a gate. And this is a new, <coughs> a new uh, tower in Tokyo. This is <coughs> the 600 meters towers, but I don't like the towers. <laughs> <coughs> this is a very 20th century this is a skyscraper. So, so, uh, but as a, this is just as, as a 40 meters, a small building compared with 600 meters. But so I like the details, uh, I, I like the material of this building. Uh, this is the theaters, and the, the gate is here. It's, it's, the people can enjoy the beauty of gate from the theater. Uh, th this is a, a, the terrace on the top floors of the building. And, the, <coughs> and the, 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 this is um, uh, the first Chinese project, and for. So for this project, I also wanted to use the something from, from praise. And this is close from Great Wall in China, and I've studied Great Wall. And the Great, the great Wall's design is not cutting the land at all. The following the landscape as possible, that is a method. And then so I didn't cut the land. The bottom of the building is following the land. Then the, uh, uh, I didn't destroy the landscape of the place. This is a great wall. And also the, I use a local material. In this case, the bamboo of China. And, the, and the, this, is a, uh, this is a kind of hole which connect natures and artifact as well. The same method as the Hiroshige Museum and the same method as the BNDA Museum. And also we use the waters for the, uh, for the connectors of the land and the building. And uh, this is a small pavilions in Italy. As a, uh, it, it is a castle of Milan. And uh, this is a, is a temporary small building, but the method is very, very unique. So I, so this is a hint of the joint. It's a, it's a chidori toy. It's a very, very classic old a system of toy. And this is a joint. And this is element. And uh, it's, a, it's a three kind of the joint we pre prepares, and uh, one first joint and second joint and third joint and twist, and then finish. <laughs> <laughs> and without any nail and without any glue, we can fix this kind of wood. And after that small pavilions, the, the next goal is to adapt that idea to the real size building. And we tested the wood. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, this is uh, the system the, of making the, the that next building. And this is the sections. The building height is 10 meters. But this is the structures of the building. And without any concrete and without any steel, so we can make these structures. But only if concrete foundation. <laughs> and this is the, the, the realization of the building. And the, the, uh, this is of white paint is to protect the edge of the wood from rain. And this is the interior. And actually, the glass is behind that frame. And the glass is, this looks like disappeared. And uh, so we so expand that idea to the bigger constructions. This is a wooden bridge in Yuzuhara. And uh, the, the size of the element is bigger than the, 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 the former project. And uh, this the, the, the town the, is famous for the wooden industry. So I want to the, the enhance the, their local economics. And this is the inside of the village. And this is a space is used, is used for the exhibition space. And then it is a bleach. At, at the same time, it is a museum. And then we call it a wooden bleach museum. And for that, as a, as a village, so I also designed the small hotel that inspired by this such a house. This is a hotel. The material is the same as a small hutch. This is the material. <coughs> the people are enjoying the, the local material. And also the people are enjoying this space. Because in, in the morning, the, the farmers are bringing the vegetables to this space. And the people can pick up the, the vegetable, and people can eat here. And the next project is uh, for the very unique client, the Starbucks. <laughs> and also, the location is very unique. This is the Dazaif Temangu. This is the, uh, the very old temple, the, the built as a 919s. Uh, this is a temple. Uh, this is uh, the arch. And uh, this is uh, very close to the temple. So, uh, we call it this kind of approach to the temple, the sandal. And our idea is to uh, create the harmony with the temple. Uh, so I think that even the Starbucks should respect the temple. <laughs> And uh, this is not the decoration. This is a, st a structure of the building. And this is a structural system. And uh, so, so two bars are, are jointed here. And that's the final is the four bars are jointed here. And it's a very, very a difficult detail. This is the interior. And uh, this is a kind of uh, the gate to these beautiful trees. <coughs> and the next project is, uh, uh, we did uh, is the city hall in Nagaoka. <coughs> and uh, this is a Nagaoka station. 
And uh, this is a, uh, the site plan of this city hall. And, uh, and as usually, the city hall in, for that kind of city is not in the center. But the mayor of this city uh, decided to uh, bring back the city hall to the center of the city. And he, and he said, the compact city is his, his basic idea. And for the compact city, uh, the city hall should be the center of the activity of, of the citizen. And the, our idea is to have the plaza in the center of the city hall. And, uh, and also, we design the, the roof on the top of the plaza. And uh, we inspired this kind of space. And this space in Japan, this space is called Doma. And uh, this is a, is a farmhouse, typical farmhouse of Japan. And uh, this Doma is not the main entrance. The main entrance is a formal entrance. But uh, the, the daily life, the people are using this kind of casual the entrance. And this is a communication space between the, uh, between the neighbors. And also people are, as a, are, who are cooking in this communi communication space. And then the Doma is the core of the life, the core of the activity of the place. But in 20th century, people uh, abandoned this kind of beautiful space. And then the, my goal of the project is to uh, bring back the Doma space to the place, the city. And this is the Doma space we designed for the city hall. And, uh, and uh, it is covered because it is, uh, this city, it, it snowed a lot. In wintertime, it's more than three meters and four meters. And then so we should protect this space by this kind of uh, the, the roof. And, uh, and the important thing for this design is the material. The wood is one thing. And this is covered by the earth. And the doma, the meaning of doma is, is earth. Because usually doma is covered by the earth. And, uh, and to sit and to walk on the earth is very important for the life. And then the, I, I use a, the, the earth for, uh, for this space. Please look at this is, uh, this is earth, and this is wood, and those are the wood. And uh, so because of the, the, um, uh, the, this space, people uh, are uh, coming to city hall. The, usually, the city hall is an isolated concrete box. But here, the people love this space very much. And actually, as a, after the completion of the building, as, a, as a mayor of the city, as every night, he called to my cell phone. <laughs> and uh, Kuma-san, today, also many, many people are coming to the city hall. And every night, one week, he called me. <laughs> And, uh, and, and, and then the, the many event happened here. And this is the detail of the roof. And uh, this is the photovoltaic panels on the roof, and the, like that. And the computer is controlling how to open those photovoltaic panels. This is a detail. And this is a system. And this is a, 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 the main space of the city hall. And again, this is the earth. Very warm feeling, soft feeling. And uh, this is a, 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 the gymnasium which is attached to the city hall. And uh, this is a big as a, as a hangar, uh, uh, this hangar doors. Is, and, uh, this doma space and the gymnasium is connected very tightly. And this is a space for the citizens. Uh, the, the NPO of the, this, the, the, of the city that can use this kind of space by the booking. 
and this is a, a, a assembly hall. And, uh, and actually, this is the big windows is directly connected with uh, the plaza, Doma. And uh, the, the citizen can watch what is happening here. And, the, and the, uh, I want to show some U European projects. It is a project in uh, the France, as will, complete, as will open next coming April. Uh, this is the location. The location is very similar to Vianney, Dundee. The river is here, the site is here, and the existing building. So we decided to preserve the existing building, and uh, we have the new roof on the pre existing building. And the vegetation on the top, and the, and the photovoltaic panel are here. And the gate is here. So, so how to connect the city to the river is the theme of the design. So this is a, a semi-outdoor covered space, and which is connecting these city centers to the, the river. And this is a, the uh, uh, CNR, is a, concert, a music school. And this is a flag, is a, is a museum. The material is as a mostly came from the, the, this place. And the, this is a semi outdoor space as a, for the musicians, and the, as a student, and the artist. And the, this is, all, is almost like that. The roof is like that. This is a space, semi outdoor spaces, which is connect the river and the city. Uh, this is a concert hall. This is a, a school. Uh, this is the detail of the roof. The photovoltaic panel is here. The vegetation is here. And the, as a, the next French, France French project is as a Frac Marseille. This is a, this is a location. This is as a, as a typical. Mediterranean, the narrow street, active street. As our idea is to get the continuity from the street to the top of the building. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's basically, it's a spiral structures, and the, the activity of the ground the can uh, the come to the top of the building. This is the local material I found here. This is a, the recycling, recycled glass. This is the detail. <coughs> and uh, this year, uh, Marseille is, is appointed as a capital of culture in the EU. And uh, then uh, as, a, as activity of culture of the EU, as, a, as a, uh, want to use this building, <coughs> and uh, it will open the coming April as well. Uh, this is a project in Italy, and another local material, this. This is a volcanic stones, and very, very soft. And if the, the seed is a, is a, can find place, is a, naturally it grows from the stones. This is uh, my idea. <coughs> as a, naturally, the building will be... As a, totally covered by the vegetation. As how to melt nature and artifact is the goal of this project. Uh, the next project is Gra Gra the, uh, the Granada, the Performing Arts Center. Is this a, is this a opera house project, inspired by the, these fruits. Uh, pomegranate is, uh, the pomegranate is uh, the name of the Granada came from these fruits. And uh, also Granada is famous for Alhambra Palace. I combine the fruits and the palace. <laughs> <laughs> and the, pal as a, as the geometry of the palace is like that. The, 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 this is the structures of the building. So I don't want to use flame and beam structures. Instead, so I got a hint from the honeycomb. And this is the interior. And the honeycomb structures, 
is, is supporting the building. And also, the, the, the each space is small enough. And then the people can feel the, the human scale, the, even in this kind of big opera house. And the next project is, is very recent. As we won the competition as, a, as a last November. Uh, this is a Susa International train stations. This is the location. Susa, Susa Valley is this close from Tren, uh, Torino. As a, uh, this is a, uh, a billet train. Uh, this is a billet train. This billet train is connecting France and Italy. And this is a station. And uh, our idea is to combine the land and the building as the infrastructure. Uh, this is the plan. The, the, the park and the buildings are connected like that. And people can use the terrace of the stations as a part of the park. And this is the, 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 the terrace of the building, which is connected to the park of the building. And the shape of the building is, is, a get, is, is melting to the silhouette of the mountain. And also the detail of the roof was inspired by the typical uh, the roof detail of the, of the, the houses there. Uh, this is a detail of this building. As a park, as a building, as a, as a, 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 a weapon like that, and uh, then so we want to create the connectivity to the natures and artifact and the infrastructures and the park. Yeah, and there's another the Swiss projects we, we, we started. And also, the, the building is very similar idea. So this is a city as a campus. And the building itself is a gate, which is connecting those two different elements. This is a detail of the, the roof. And the structurally, uh, the, this is the aluminum panel. And so we combined aluminum panel and the wood. And uh, so if it is a wood build, wooden building, so the wooden columns is become very big. But if we combine aluminum structure, aluminum panel and the wood, so we can decrease the size of the wood. And then so we can get the transparency for this space. And uh, finally, so I can talk about the, the new, new design. So, uh, so we got a hint of the, from the beauty of the cliff of Scotland. The, this is the, the nature, but, but at the same time, so we can so learn from the, the, this, the use of horizontal element. This is my first sketch. And uh, this is a new design. As so we move the, the building as a little bit to the, uh, to the land. And this is, a, as a, this is the entrance of the building. This is view from the stations. The visibility from the station is very important. Uh, the building sh uh, the sh uh, sh uh, 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 should be the attractors of the people from the, uh, the, uh, uh, spilled out from the station. And then this is a new, a new plan. Uh, as, uh, we move the building to the land, and then so we can get a better circulation between the city and the building. And, uh, and also, this is uh, the river, and uh, this is the landscape. 
and we can get the harmony between the river and the landscape. And this is a, is a important as a, as a void. And this void is connecting the city, uh, rivers, and the park. And uh, this is, uh, this is uh, the space be uh, beneath the, the arch. Uh, this is the new interior design. So we want to use wood for interior. Uh, to use wood is, is important for this kind of big space. Is if we, this space is made by the concrete, it is too, as a, too cold as a, but if as a, as a we as a use as a, as a, that kind of natural material a, and also by, by the, this kind of small as element, the people can get the, the atmospheres of the human scale and also the people can, can feel the, the warmness from this space. And uh, this is the stairs which connect the ground floor and second floor. This is the new uh, the design for the interior. Uh, the, and the natural light also comes from, from through those holes. This is the main exhibition space. This is a restaurant, which is open to the river. And the, and the restaurant is also very important for the museum. And then the, we as a, bring the restaurant to the, this, as a, as a beautiful location. This is a view from the river. And, and, the f and now the, we are doing the detailed design for the museum. And, uh, the, and also the, we are trying to find the, the best material for the museum as, a, from the, as, a, as possible from the, as a, from the, as a Scotland. As a, then the, we can combine the materiality and the human scale and the urban design. And this is not the isolated building. This is a part of the city, and so we want to create the connectivity uh, so with the building and the city. And, uh, and in 21st century, as a building is not an isolated object. Building is a part of the culture of the place and part of the economy of the place. And uh, the, through that connectivity, as, uh, we can recreate the happy relationship between building and the, the place. As a, and that, that is the theme of these lectures and pop up the place. Thank you very much. have a, a, a short while for some questions. We also have other full lecture theatres this evening listening to the lecture and, and, and watching the lecture, so questions may appear from, from the other lecture theatres. What elements of the city of Dundee do you understand and wish to make part of your new building? Yes, uh, uh, so, as a one as an important aspect of Dundee is uh, the access from the, the hill to the, the ocean. The Union Street is, is the main axis, and as a fortunately, the location of the, as a museum is sit on the end of the Union Street. So how to the, the enhance the, the beauty of the axis is the goal, as a, the, as the goal of the layout of the building. And then the, the arch is the, and Union Street is, is meeting at this point. And, uh, and that is a, as a first point. And another point is a, as a material, as a, as a stones. As a, as a masonry structure is the basis of the as a, as a, as a context of Dundee's as a buildings. As a, but now, as a, as a, to, as a, 
as a do the masonry structure is not so easy, and it is too nostalgic, nostalgic. And then, the, as our method is inspired by the masonry structures, but is a stacking of the precast concrete, and then the the same kind of the human scale. So I want to bring to the previous concrete stacking detail. Yeah. Having moved the building from in from the river, which was your original intention to create the harmony with the river, was this done purely on technical reasons that you were unable to get a proper foundation out into the river? And what difference will it make moving it inland onto what in fact is a landfill site. Yeah, so, so, so by the moving of the building, the good thing for the, the, that move is the, to get the closer connection with the land and the park. And the, the, for the first scheme, the building is like the island. The, to connect the island to the land is not so easy. But now, the, we can get the circulations, and the, which is easily as a connecting the land, park, and the building. And then the, I, I'm very happy. Yeah. <laughs> a quick question for you. How, how are you going to achieve the sustainability you're looking for by using so much concrete? Uh, the sustainability, as a, as a actually, as a, uh, so I combine, so for most of the building, I combine the strong structure like a concrete and steel, plus natural material. <coughs> so, uh, so, uh, that, that kind of combination is necessary to protect the building from the earthquake and the, some, some strong wind. And then the, uh, the some people, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, as, as said, this is as, uh, not pure, but I think as, uh, through those kind of combinations, we can use natural material. So without the combinations, we cannot use the natural material. Then as, uh, I always as, uh, combine the as, uh, as different kind of material. But the goal is to, as a, as a uh, bring natural material to the building. Between uh, you design your projects and then yes. maybe years later they're built, how do you keep inspired and motivated by each project? I'm motivated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good questions. As a, as a, as in every stage of design, as a, as a we are facing the new program. <laughs> And, uh, but the program is, is, a, is a source of is a motivation. Is a, and, and, and then, is a, as the beginning of the project, is a, we, made, we made a dream. But is a, if we want to is a, realize that dream, is a, many problems are coming. As structures and uh, maintenance, as, a, as everything. And, uh, as a, as a final stage, we also sh should find the, the, the real material. material. As a, also, not, not easy to find the good material now. And then, the, it is a very exciting process. And especially, the, I love the, 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 the construction site. Because construction site, it is very tough. It's everybody is saying many things, but I, we, I should solve. The, and, uh, and there has a very, very excited moment happened in the construction site. We have a, a couple of questions uh, from, from other lecture theatres, one which has already been asked, but a further one. Um, what are the plans, what are your thoughts about uh, renewable energy uh, features uh, that might be possible in the building? Renewable energy? Yeah. Uh, renewable energy is, is a, it's a sustainable. Yes, I think we may have covered this, but... Ah, uh, renewable energy. Yes, the, mm, uh, the, now we are thinking about uh, thinking about the <laughs> the use of renewable energy. Uh, now it's in the final stage of the, the design, as a as a, mo as a shape and as a, as a, is already set, and uh, now we are working with the engineer uh, to bring the new renewable energy for the building. 
So an evolving design. Evolving, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a further question, please. Will you be implementing any uh, elements of Japanese architecture into the design? As a, as a, I think the as always the exchange. Is a cultural exchange is a source of new design. So, for example, Frank Lloyd Wright, he learned the Japanese design, he is a, and he did something in America. And after he came to Japan, he he brought the, his American design to Japan. And there's a, and then the, the culture, the, and, the, and then the, some new designs happened. And uh, for V and A. Uh, it is difficult to say that what is pure Japanese design. As a, as a, as a, as a now, the world is already mixed up, and then the, it is difficult to define the Japanese design. But one thing that I can pick up is the use of wood. The use of wood and is in a very delicate way. The, for the interior, so you, 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 you saw the, the plate, the wooden plate, and also the angle of the plate is not the same. So all the, the angles are different. And the, the goal of that is, is a special detail is, is create the beautiful shadow under the wood, the wood panels. And uh, that idea mm, can be called Japanese design. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but uh, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not 100%. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.